Hello and welcome back to the My DMs podcast. Today we are here at Cotton Fest 2024, deep in the heart of Newtown, Johannesburg CBD. We do not die, we multiply. Cotton Fest is an event that was founded by the visionary Ricky Rick. And today we're just here to live in his honor, man, to celebrate good music, culture, food, and gorgeous looking people. Hey man, let's get it. We're about to go in, go around, talk to some people, do some drip checks, see why they're here, and I don't know, make a couple connections, because that's why we're here. We're here to network, socialize, and grow ourselves as brands. Cotton Fest 2024, my DMs podcast. We don't die, we multiply, let's get it. What's going on, bro? We out here, bro. We out here, bro. We out here at Cotton Fest, bro. I'm about to start this one off, bro. We're out here at Cotton Fest right now. We're having the best time of our lives. My DMs podcast. My name is Lucas Rams. Yes, sir. I said Come I'm on. taking over. How Listen, are you taking over? My <laughs> name is Lucas Ram. This is my DMs podcast. Understand. And I said, <laughs> and I said, what's good? How are you? I'm out here with my boy. How are you? How are you? The energy is electrifying. We're here at Cotton Fest, and I am with Major Steez, baby. Major Steez and Lucas. The YOG, the YOG. What's going on, man? Lucas, the last time I saw you, it was, it was I think, last year at some event. All I remember is you took your shirt off and a honey started crying, dog. <laughs> a honey started crying, dog. Nice, dog. How is that like? Like, how is it like to be that nigga? Um, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Go look in the mirror, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Cotton Fest 2024, we're here with Lucas Rap. Hit us up, what's been the highlight of tonight for you? Hey man, I won't lie, I came a bit late. I got here like probably 30 minutes ago because okay. I'm on at 12. I was trying to get as much rest as possible, but from what I've seen so far, the stands are cool. There's a moon over here, dog. Like, I don't understand. Like, what the hell? There's a moon, bro. Like, everybody's energy is lit. Everybody's just in a good mood. Like, damn. I yeah. really wish Ricky was here to see oh all of this, bro. Like, God. it's amazing, bro. How's it like being on tour, performing 24? Like, this is your job. Yeah. How is that like? It's fun, bro. It gets tiring. It gets sometimes yeah. frustrating. Yeah. But the the feeling of always seeing people excited to see like you perform or yeah. just doing your job to put the music out there it's always accelerating like it's, it's lit dog so even when it gets frustrating it, you still have fun now correct me if I'm wrong you, correct me if I am wrong you're from KZN right yeah I'm from I was born in Cape Town raised in Durban so Durban nice. is hometown okay you know? and now we have SA out of the three which one is your favorite out of which the one three. is home for you Cape Town Joburg KZN Ah, Durban, dog. Durban? Yeah. Durban's where it's at. Yeah. Durban's where it's at, dog. This, the, the ocean's warm. The people are nice. My nigga, you know about the stickies in Durban, bro? <laughs> They say, what can you tell us all here? The mambas here, the mammies move like a... I think Cape Town has nicer mammies. Hey, man, at the end of the day, me, I still stand for the colored John. Just, okay, yeah, no, I'm there with you. Yeah. I'm there with you. <laughs> um, if, if you ain't throwing a black label bottle to my head you when know, you're pissed... You know what I'm saying. What are we doing? What, what are we doing? doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Are we doing? Uh, who are you here with tonight? Uh, I'm here with BQMG. I'm here yes, with my sir. squad. I'm here with my label. I'm here with the gang. Come on. Um, yeah, it's just us and everybody that else, everyone else here, that's here at Cotton Fest, bro. Music to artistic installations, they have it all. We don't die, we multiply. Today I'm here with... Herc got the lights. Little Leo Slick. All right, Herc, listen, um, I know Craig, my producer, was in the studio with Blackie a couple weeks ago. And there's an album that's being talked about, that's being, I don't know, can you clear it up for us? What, what's the story? Uh, Black has been in America for for the couple, for a month. So well, I mean, this was um, two months ago because it was before he left, before the whole Jake Hall thing. All facts, all facts is coming out in a week. Yeah, that's what I can tell you. Uh, 
Yeah, but Black has been doing this thing in America. He like, has, yo, he has. Man, raising the flag, every single performance he's been doing, man. Like, he's taking it to the next level and like opening gates for all of us. So, um, yeah, like he's definitely cooking, but like it's not it's not on me to speak on what he's cooking. Yeah, yeah. But I can tell you in seven days, you're going to get a new record. What are you cooking, Herc? We're going to get new records. We're going to get new records? Okay, okay. My homie, talk to me, talk to me. How uh -huh. has it been this past month? has been the craziest month in the music industry for me yeah, personally for sure. what's your feeling what are your opinions uh well i feel standing? like it's good music for south africans everyone's enjoying it yes i'm here with her cut the lights also been working on a few shits and it's gonna come out soon just you know south africa we there dog we're like the focal point at this moment right now we just need to use it to the to the best you know so the man himself is not here who are you guys here to see what why are you guys all the way down here in Utah? What's the reason? I mean, like, first of all, it's cotton fest, man. You know, you gotta pay your dues, dog. Like, what you mean? It's like, it's an honor just to be here and even be on the lineup. You know what I'm saying? So even just being here, like, being able to represent this thing and raise the flag, you know, in honor of the late Ricky, that's like, you know? It's more so, than yeah, enough. Yeah, it's more than enough. And, you know, like, obviously we're here for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Like, we're here for every artist in the community. And I guess, like, being here for every artist is what makes the community grow. Hey, yo, Walk One Cotton Fest 2024, My DMs Podcast. We don't die, we multiply. Yeah, yeah. Today I am here with... It's your boys, Major Steez. Come on. Major Steez, baby, you know what time it is. Now, let's, let's, let's break it down. From when you guys dropped your first po like album, your first project, to now, what has been the highlight of being a duo? I think, like to be honest, we actually haven't even dropped our first project. There's something coming out this year. But being a duo, my open brothers before were even friends or whatever. I guess obviously, but yeah, like, like we've been brothers, man, since birth. Uh, the bond is obviously going to be stronger than other duos sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I'm talk about the others. Yeah. Your brother just told me you guys haven't dropped the project yet, but the name Major Steez is not an unfamiliar name to people. Where do we know you from? You can know us, you probably rather know us from the north side. Shout out to the north side, but we came out of the west strand, you know? Okay. Yes sir, yes sir. And you know, we do, we do a lot of things. We do a lot of things. What type of things you do? Crazy things, my brother. Give me one crazy thing, my brother. Yeah. <laughs> we shut down the show, and that's what we're here to do tonight. <laughs> Let's go. Enough said, man. Now, last question for you. Dream collab. Yeah. Everyone on the roster, who would you guys like to have a project with? Uh, Rema. Rema? Rema. Rema. Okay, hey man, Cotton Fest 2024, these guys need to go perform. I think we're probably gonna go with them, see how it's like behind the scenes. Follow us, let's get it, man. Welcome, welcome to Cotton Fest 2024 today. I'm here with Zilly Weezy, the one and the only. Come on, hit us with the intro. Hey, it's a boy Zilly Weezy, Lama Zing Zing, Lama Chinche, Lama Dinde, we're doing it. And shit and shit, man. Cotton Fest 2024, let's go. Hey, man, who are you here to see? Ah, uh, to be honest, I'm here to see Shampuru Makenzo, Lime Crazy, Nasty C, Aries. Nasty's here? Yeah, yeah, Nasty's also on the lineup. And also, a lot of the people that watch spreading humors. Everyone that watches Van Trees, I'm here to see you guys. Okay. Right. Come on. How long have you been here? 
uh, I've been here for like probably two hours. I went on the stage to do a tribute for a BT award for AKA and yeah. So on a level of drunk, tipsy, sober, where are we? I'm okay, I'm not drunk. Yeah, I'm still, still, we just yeah. arrived. This is like my second class. So we just arrived? Yes. We just, drip check, who are you rocking? Uh, where are you from? This is Kikiology, King Oma. This is Cushion Face, Cargo Pants. This is uh, a, a, a Tony. I don't know, Sports Scene. This is NBA Nike, you know what I'm saying? Chilling. This is Zilla Weezy, Custom Watch. QR code at the back. Uh, Zilla Weezy here. And also, what? What else? Oh, the Polo Bag. When is the Zilli Weezy merch coming out? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? It will come by popular demand. You promise? Yes. All right, sweet. We here at Cotton Fest 2024. I'm here with Zilli Weezy. My DMs podcast. We don't die. We multiply. Let's get it. Dango. Come on, fit check. Hi, what's your name? My name's Nali. Nice to meet you, Nali. What you wearing? Uh, I designed this. This is a I, I custom made I crochet thing. Okay. The shoes are from Sheen. The stockings are from Woolworths. Where can we get your creations? Where can we get your design? I actually did this for myself. I don't actually design. Why not? Um, I just like don't have the personality to do that for other people. So what do you do, Nala? I study. What do you study? I study law. Really? Yeah, and I work in the pedal industry and I'm a model, so. Enough thing. I mean, hey guys, we're here with Nala, Cotton Fest 2024, My DMs Podcast, we don't die. Guys, we don't die with Mark's life. Today I'm here with Kamu and Azu. Now, Azu designed the outfits that they're both wearing right now, and we're about to get into it. How long have you been designing for? Oh, about a year. About a year? And is this just like a hobby, or are you it's trying like to get It's like a hobby, into... but I'm trying to get into business. So. Okay, what made you get into crocheting to this scale? I was tired of buying clothes, and I was like, you know what, let me try and make something different. So, I was like, maybe crocheting is a good idea. So yeah. Who, who are you guys here to Who are you guys here to see today? DJ Maporeza. Have you seen him yet? No, I don't know if he played though. I think he's played. I'm here to see everyone. Yeah, you just here to have a good time, to have a vibe. Okay, where are you guys from? From. From? From. So you just next door? Yeah. And what makes Cotton Fest the best festival in the city? Uh, it's the biggest. <laughs> Number one, it's the biggest. Okay. It's the biggest fest. And the creativity that happens within the festival is nice. Okay, shout out to Cotton Fest 2024. We had an amazing experience. It was good. Even though the weather is a bit chilly, but we still have an amazing experience. And yeah, man! Uh, Cotton Fest is the best, uh, man. Yeah. You know, ah, this is the vibe, man. I don't know what's up, but I'm happy to be here. I've never seen the vibe before. Thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God, Cotton Fest. Cotton Fest. Cotton Fest is amazing. We're enjoying it. I'm looking forward for Z to perform. Kevin Bobo, DJ Zinke, you know, Nasty Z. Shout out to Mariam's podcast. You know, the drip is dripping today. Bye! Okay, hi guys. It's Carmen here. So this is this is my first cotton fest and it is amazing. I can't lie to you. I actually can't wait for 25, cotton fest 25. Who I'm excited to see is Nasty C, Aries, uh, Durban Gogo, and Josh. So this is Cotton Fest 24, shout out to my DM. Why are you topless, bro? No, I ain't topless. Uh -huh. I ain't I ain't fan of shit. Shit no. shit. I ain't I ain't your fan, no. but I will say I'm a fan for the day, no. Because you ain't coming. So I can come on here. Yeah. You gotta stay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When did you arrive to Joburg? You arrived this morning. Yeah, it's 7 a.m. So when are you going? When are you leaving? Tomorrow. Ain't no way. Serious. So you came all the way from Durban just to party. Actually, actually, uh -huh. I came here to uh to um uh okay. I came here um to um uh graduate actually. Okay. And then after the graduation, I came here. To so you graduated grade. today? Yes. For, what did you graduate? What? What did you? What were you studying? 
fashion design. It's what no way! Really? Yeah. So, is there any brand looming up? What do we have to expect? You just graduated. What's next? I'm still cooking for now. You st okay, we fly me to the moon. I look, look. There's, there's a, there's so many things at Cotton Fest, and one of the biggest attractions that has caught my eye is this moon right above me because we, we, we shining, bro. We shining for real. Can you see? Oh my days. We're at Cotton Fest 2024. Long live Ricky. We don't die. We multiply. What is going on? Hi. How are Hi. you? What's your name? Nandipa. And yours? Leah. I'm Daniel. I like your fit so much. What inspired your outfit? I don't know. It just gets after school, key after school. Is that linen? Are you wearing linen? No, um, I can't be too sure, but... It looks like linen. And yourself, what inspired your outfit? Pinterest. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Originally, a Swatini. Swatini. What are you studying? Um, BCom Economics. I'm not studying. Okay, cool. What's what's after after you graduate? What happens? We're not here to think about that. We're not here to think about. It. <laughs> this is so nice. Um, I don't actually have questions, so I'm just gonna let you guys take photos. Now, Cotton Fest is more than just a festival. It is a platform for artists, musicians, designers, and enthusiasts alike to come together and experience art, culture, and creativity. And today I'm here with... Uh, Ling Ling. And... Shay Shay BW. Hey, yo, cool. Do you mind just introducing yourselves to our audience, telling them what you do and why you are here today? Oh, um, my name is Sally Lin, AKA Ling Ling. I am a content creator slash culture creator. And I'm here for NBA Africa and yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm Shay, I'm a content creator, hustler, everything, don't get into student, don't get into everything. Everything you can think of, you name it. Yeah. What's your favorite type of content to create? Um, I'm still experimenting with content, but my favorite type to create right now is fashion content. Fashion, fashion content, yeah. nice. I'm, I'm leaning more into the beauty side as well, there's a lot okay, of things makeup. there. But, but I'll say my favorite thing to dive into is music. Music? Yeah, I'm a huge music fanatic. I like what music. genre? Everything. I like putting people onto music, like discovering new music, and I use my channel to do that, my Instagram. Linden, talk to me about NBA Africa. How did you guys get involved with them, and what is what is what is the mission? What is the purpose? Um, I think the number one thing is involvement, involvement within um, the, 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 the culture, involvement within, with the youth as well. And I'm involved because I'm a very, I love sports and I've been um, doing various sport campaigns and this was just one of them. And yeah, I think the number one thing is just showing up for the youth, engaging with the youth because I mean like anyone was, was everybody was there at the at the activation. It was open to everyone, everyone got to engage um, with each other as well. We got to watch a few games and the celebrity game as well. So I think if anything is to spread awareness that um, there are people who are doing this in Africa and so you can also do this in Africa but also more like more than anything is also to just integrate like sports with culture and entertainment especially like within a local space and I think Cotton Fest is the best way to do that because it's so it's culture based it's like yeah legacy. I think one of the greatest things Stone ever told me was that we are also overseas for them what we think is international and what we think is big that side that is us to them that did not make sense but <laughs> let me move it on to you I'm gonna I'm gonna throw you deep into the water with this question are you ready yeah how do you think South African influencers can put more of an effort into giving back to the community in what ways do you think South Africa's influencers and our fashion industry can give back to the community I think reach is a, is a big part. I think one thing that South African content creators have is reach and most content creators are young and we're a voice to the youth, for the youth. So I think we can use that to our advantage. Content creators should use that to their advantage. It's more than just spreading awareness and advertising the best brands and stuff out there. Spread awareness on things that matter because you've got people that are listening to you, that are watching everything that you do and post. It's like when K Arms took the voting thing and like used her own little type of way to get her followers to engage and vote. That that did something. So if content creators do more of that with heart and with intent, I think we could have a huge impact on the youth especially. Yeah. 
Linden, what, what are we expecting from you for the rest of 2024? What do you got in the plan? For the rest of 2024, you guys can expect a more House of Ling. Um, everything else I'm going to keep private for now, but all in due time will be revealed. But for now, you guys can just keep expecting fire from House of Ling. Um, and I think more work. You know, like I'm pushing more work, I'm hustling. So you guys will see me like doing, I, making moves. You know, I'm always in the, in the streets. When's the merch coming? I don't want to put pressure on myself, but, but one, it, is it is coming. It is coming. Yeah. Okay. When's the merch coming? Don't Actually, me. I'm not even asking for a merch from me. I'm asking for a whole line. When's the line dropping? She's the line. That's more of her thing. But you know, if it's if it's something that can be put in the works, if I can come up with something cute, then ASAP. So you're more of the person who brings everybody together. I'd like to you're think You're the guy so, who yeah. knows the guy. Yeah, I'm the guy who knows the okay. guy. Yeah. Okay, we see you. Hey yo, Cotton Face 2024, my DMs podcast. I'm here with Ling Ling and Big W. And we're about to go take some banger photos, so stay tuned. The lifestyle, the fashion, that's why we're here. Do you mind quickly just sharing one of your fondest memories with Ricky? Oh, my fondest memory. First one Ricky. that comes to mind. When I was first matching on Mome, because Mome is like original boys and pubs, you know? And she, Ricky was like, yo, Mo, listen, if you really want to hook up with Mo, man, my sister, you got to change that haircut, dog. <laughs> that haircut is not going to work, my nigga. So he took me to a Siakunda opposite Labori. There was a guy there called James, used to cut hair outside there. And he took me there, he got my first lineup. You know, the two-step fair that I'm rocking right now. And then when I went to go see Mo, my mom was like, wow, you're looking nice. We can go out. And we went to Latin over that night. So, yo, my Ricky, my nigga Ricky really put me on when it comes to my wife, right? What was so bad about the last haircut? Actually, it was not really a haircut. There's a difference between both. just growing her and having a haircut. <laughs> so it's the effort that matters. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Always. Okay, and the fit, make let's the, talk about this real the, quick. Make the effort. What inspired with this? This is a lot of effort. What inspired this? It looked like a lot of effort to you, but that's how I felt like. Okay. I felt like... I want to be sexy, but at the same yeah, time, you yeah. know, maintain classy and all that. I mean, but you know, keep. I like cheese. the fur coat. It reminds cheese. me of Ricky's music videos as well. Like yeah, he also you know wrote like I'm a fur coat. That's what they all and about. And just a bit of color. And obviously, jeans are back in fashion. But we've been doing it since the nineties, yeah. and you guys are bringing it back. Hey That's man, good. Cotton Face 2024. We don't die, we multiply. We're about to take a couple photos with these guys, and stay tuned to the My DMs podcast. You mind if I take one or two photos?